Severe weather hitting West Michigan hard this evening. Damage is widespread. Police in Walker, Spring Lake, and Fruitport are telling people to stay off the roads this evening. Toppled trees and downed power lines making it just too dangerous. 24 Hour News 8's Henry Erb is live in Fruitport tonight with what he's seeing there. Henry? Dangerous is right. Uh, take a look at this. This is a pretty much of a sample of what, what we have seen here at Fruitport this evening. Uh, this is not just one tree, but four trees, five trees, all uprooted at the same time, along with a white picket fence, and they all ended up on top of this house. We are told by the homeowner that there is two inches of water in that house, that maybe 30 holes in the roof. Uh, there's a lot of damage here. Fortunately, the people who live here weren't home at the time. We were three miles that way, three miles to the north, and there was nothing there. And I got a call from somebody that was in the school over here and uh, said, you might want to come home and check out your house. It's in pretty bad shape. So. And you got not one tree, but the whole grove of trees down on your house. And if you look over here, I just had three taken down last week. <laughs> so, but nobody was hurt, so that's, that's the blessing. There are trees down all over Fruitport. The uh, power is out here. It is extremely quiet at this hour. We understand the police are keeping an eye on uh, things, not letting people into this town except for crews which are doing repair work, cutting trees, fixing power lines. We understand there was a gas main break a little while ago and uh, several more homes which have been damaged in Fruitport and Fruitport Township. This all started with a storm that came ashore around 6 o'clock tonight. We were out of Grand Haven when all of that hit. It was, uh, it was interesting to say the least. It was like those, those desert movies with the sandstorm blowing. That's exactly what was going on on the beach at Grand Haven State Park after that storm came ashore. It was, uh, in fact, we were kind of surprised that there was uh, any paint left on our van after, after the storm blew by. It was uh, spectacular to say the least. Back to you. Well, and Henry, we gave you the call about 20 minutes to 6 that the storm was headed your way. Storm Team 8 let us know it was headed right your way. So I know there were thousands of people out at the beach today, that oppressive heat driving a lot of people to the lake shore. So what was it like when it really cleared out? Well, it, was, uh, it, was, it had been an absolutely beautiful beach day. People were starting to go home already. It started clouding up around 5 o'clock. People were sort of leaving. But people were still in the water as the gathering storm came, came up. And, uh, and it just probably about 10 minutes before it really hit, uh, the state park personnel went out and uh, started uh, using a loudspeaker to warn people to get off the beach because a big storm was coming, and in fact, it sure did. Indeed it did. Okay, thank you, Henry, for that live report. From